Okay, I want to show you guys something. She looks absolutely... Is she still alive? Okay, so it's another night and we're in another farm, this time pigs. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go through this farm and we're gonna see what these animals are going through. And there's two big barns here, but there's barns all the way down each side here. So let's go and check it out. And I'm gonna show you guys what people pay for when they consume bacon and other pork products. Let's go. Let's have a look through here. Hello. So we've just come in here to this barn and all the pigs have, they're thinking it's feeding time because they've all come up to say hello. Um, hello. Hello guys. Are you hungry? <laughs> they don't really like pets. See how they're a bit scared, eh? He's a bit scared of my hand like I'm Usually if the animals are scared, maybe the farmer's doing something to them, but... Hello, darling. These pigs will all be killed in gas chambers, generally. They're a bit like big puppy dogs, pigs. They're my favourite animal. So these beings, they're probably at about slaughter weight right now, so they're not too far off from going to the gas chamber, which is a horrible way to die. The gas burns them, their eyes, their wet noses, inside their lungs, and they suffer in these cages, uh, dungeons filled with gas. It's a horrible way to die. Um, they're on air for about six months, and then that's it. They go to get slaughtered and chopped up and put on someone's plate. You think it's dinner time, don't you? You think it's feeding time, don't you? Oh dear. <laughs> these are all these are all sows. These sows might be used for breeding, eh? They might not actually be going to slaughter. They might be actually used to bear piglets. Look at the condition on this one here. And if you see that the farmers have marked them with spray paint. They're objectified and marked with spray paint. Different colours, different codes. These, these pens are just covered in feces here, so... Yeah, you know what? These are sows. These are sows. These will be... There's no males in here. These will be bred for... to produce piglets, and then they'll go into the farrowing sheds. I think... I honestly believe these are the holding pens. Served. See here? Served. So this means they've been served. Um, LS, LS, I'm not sure what that means, but they've got it spray painted on their back. See? Hey, darling. Hello, darling. Hello. Dry two and a half. I don't know what sure that means. Okay, so now we know what this facility is. These mothers here are in between bearing young, so they'll get bred again and go into those horrible places, the farrowing sheds where they're stuck in a cage, they bear their piglets. But what happens is they have a gestation period after breeding, and then they get moved into farrowing crates when, where their piglets will essentially feed off of them while they're stuck in this cage. Horrible places, so they'll probably be slaughtered around two or three years old. Um, once they're done using them for what comes out of their body, they're taking their piglets away from them, essentially. Piglets will be grown and slaughtered so these are mothers, these are exploited mothers in this barn here. But they will go to a gas chamber and they will be eaten, usually second grade cuts of meat for, you know, spent sows. Very sad existence, um, just a life of exploitation.
All right, so we found some more sales in here. They're in a separate pen here. This one here looks very sick and sad. Pale, flies all over her. Let's see if we can get a close up here. I wanna show you. So these are pork stalks or um, an insemination device. Um, they use these to inseminate the animals. Ear tags as well. So these here are the boys. They're the boars that they use to inseminate. They must be harvesting the semen from these boys and then using artificial insemination method here. So this is a massive breeding facility essentially. There's a bunch of sows, there's the males here. We've got insemination devices here. Um, they're, they're basically breeding these animals to use for their piglets. Let's keep going. We've come to a door here and behind this door are mothers and piglets. So we're going to go inside and see what's going on in here. Okay, so we found a farrowing shed now. Look at the size of this mother. So what we're essentially looking for is uh, dead piglets in here. Look at, look at, this is how she has to live for six weeks at a time. And then they circulate. They go get bred again. They come back in here once they're, they're ready to bear their, their young. Um, so this is uh, pen and strep, penicillin antibiotics. Um, this is where they, you know, most of the antibiotics has been fed to animals, isn't it? So um, that's why big anti antibiotic resistance is a big thing. Okay, so these little babies here, they look very small and sick. They're limping around. Um, they just don't look well. The babies next door here look in a little bit better condition. But if I can show you what these little babies look like, they're just tiny. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, I want to show you guys something. This is very common. Farrowing sheds for there to be dead piglets. They suffer and die next to their mother. It's okay, it's okay. 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 It's a cold dead baby. Um just in the in the pen with the mother. Um and she has to look across at this baby and uh for the, the amount of time that she's in there, I don't know, this baby's cold and rot, starting, beginning to rot. Um, tongue is all rotten. This is how human beings treat animals so they can have a piece of their body on the plate. This is the process that they won't show you. This is what they don't advertise to you. These poor little babies and these mothers stuck in this hell hole, okay, dying next to their mother. I mean, they're, they're not even clearing these babies out. He's dead out, you know, it's... It's absolutely sickening. I have to put this baby back here because um, I don't want them to know that we've been in here. But uh, so sad. This little baby here, they're so tiny. We're trying to feed here. So most of them, the pain and anguish is with the mothers who are repeatedly exploited. This is who I empathize the most with. I mean, they are so trapped and imprisoned. They can't turn around. They can't turn around for six weeks. And people complain about quarantine, but they support industries that do this to mothers. Look at this. Look at this prison. Imagine being stuck in a cage that you can't turn around in just to be exploited for your babies that will be stolen and murdered. This is disgusting. It makes me ashamed to be a human being seeing scenes like this. These mothers here, they can usually only fit one inside the gondola of a gas chamber, and the gas actually takes a long time to kill them because they're so big. So they suffer inside a dungeon filled with gas for a lot longer than a uh, normal sized pig would. 
all they know is suffering, all they know is exploitation, and uh, it's just an incredible tragedy. So, boycott bacon. This is what bacon is. This is the suffering that bacon causes. of mothers in here. Yeah, the piglets in here are a lot bigger than in the last farm we were at. Um, there's flies everywhere in here. There's dust everywhere, it's dirty. It's really sad, these piglets are stuck in here. Their mothers are imprisoned. It's, there's grates on the floor where feces drops through. Um, it's just really sad, they're fed through machines. Um, and what we're gonna do because this is one shed and there's a bunch of sheds all next to each other, we're gonna go through them all and see what we can find. But there's just so many flies. All right, let's go check out the other sheds as well. These ones are in here, there's no piglets in here. Where are your piglets? Okay, here they are. Oh my God, she, this one here. She looks absolutely, is she still alive? Okay, she's breathing, but she can't even move. Oh my God. Hey, hello. Okay, so this is what I mean when, when mothers have spent, you know, multiple, multiple cycles inside of these farrowing crates. They just become broken. And this one here, this poor angel here, she's just broken. I can see it in her face. She's not even getting up to say hello. The piglets in here, they're tiny. The older they are, the bigger they are, the more cycles they've been through, the more suffering they've been through. And I think she's just broken. Oh my God, she is so bad. Hey darling. Hey darling. Hello. This here is probably one of the most saddest pigs I've ever seen. She is so broken. She won't even like acknowledge that we're here. She's just mentally broken. Um, her body is just so worn out. She's hardly moving. She's completely exhausted. This is what animal agriculture do to animals. They exploit them until exhaustion and then they slaughter them and they sell their exhausted, tired body parts to people to eat. This mother is gonna end up in someone's sausage roll or um, some other type of second hand, second grade, uh, cut of meat. Her body is just worn out and so much suffering. Someone is going to be eating that suffering and I'm so glad it's not me because I'm vegan. And if you're watching and you're not vegan, just think about this next time you go to purchase a pork product, you could be eating a suffered mother. Oh my God, man. Like, how the hell do they allow this, man? <laughs>